delicious these are filipino egg rolls with some sugar-free uh, what is this chili sauce and i have some cucumbers over here with my homemade cucumber sauce we have bean sprouts lettuce and cilantro and i am drinking a orange vanilla flavored water yummy freaking delicious who want a yummy bite Ooh, What's up, Yummy Biters? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. How's everybody doing? Y'all already see it, okay? This is my first time making lupia the right way, okay? At least, this that's what I think, okay? <laughs> I am drinking orange vanilla water today. Uh-huh. Yes, y'all. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so good. Lord have mercy. Anyway, let's pray. Amen. Who is ready for this mother flipping video? Let me know in the comments. I want to know if you're ready. Lumpia. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I left the, uh, what you call it here? Lumpia. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my God. Yummy delicious. cilantro mm. Mm -hmm. I saw somebody do it like this I take a, um, a piece of lettuce They sit the lumpia in the lettuce like that. Take some of that good old, these good old bean sprouts. And some cilantro. Cilantro. I know it's not throw, it's cilantro. Okay, just joking. Dip it in some of that good sauce. Mmm. Mm hmm
Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all, these cucumbers, everything is so good. Like, mmm. How's everybody doing? What y'all eating with me? <laughs> y'all. I had an eventful day today. Like, I'm gonna talk to y'all about it. Let me eat a little bit. Ooh. Mm. Mm. First of all, um, uh, Instacart, I done ordered a daggone English cucumber, and they gonna bring me an English cucumber rotten. Y'all, I was not happy. <laughs> it was rotten on one end. I was so mad. But, of course, I got my way back. Immediately. Mmm. Mmm. I like it better with just the cilantro and the bean sprouts, not the lettuce. Mmm. I mean, it's still good, but... Mmm, I like it better this one. That cilantro is faded off. Yummy delicious. Something is spicy. I'm trying to figure out what it is because I didn't put no cayenne. Mmm. Is it the sauce? Is that what it is? Lumpia. That's so hot. Look at that. It just came out of that good old grease. Mmm. All this goes together so well, it's so delicious, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Hmm. Delicious. So, y'all. 
<sighs> I guess today just wasn't my day because y'all, I was trying to film like several different videos today. My phone kept tripping. The videos were erasing. I have no clue how. Later on, I found out that um, I needed to erase some stuff out of my phone. <sighs> y'all, do y'all know how frustrating that is when you are like, you're doing a video, uh, several videos, and they just erase? Y'all don't even understand. I was working hard. That's why it's so late now, because I was trying to do that. Oh, excuse me. Thinking that, you know, I could do all of these videos lined up and then come and cook. And, like, I had it all planned out. You know what I'm saying? You know when you have something all planned out, you're going to do this, that, this, that, and then you're going to do this, and then it's going to be over. That's how it's supposed to be. You're going to be able to chill for the rest of the night. Uh-uh. Oh, y'all, I'm going to be watching that movie tonight. Hopefully, Mersho can watch it with me. That movie, I have to, let me get the name of it because, <sighs> where is it? Um, oh, in Florida. What is going on in Florida? Uh, girl, what happened to it? Why do we get dressed and, oh. <laughs> you know what? Is this it? No. Y'all, I'm trying to find out the name of that movie. Oh, here it go. Um, leave the world behind, okay? Leave the world behind. I will be watching, like, I have to, I have to watch it tonight, like. I was supposed to have been watched it. I have to watch that tonight. Like, everybody is talking about how, like, real it seems. And I've been trying not to, like, um, you know, watch any of the scenes. I seen just a little bit of one today, and I just had to hurry up and click off. I'm like, uh-uh. I need to hurry up and watch it because people talking about it and stuff. And I just want to be able to talk about it with y'all. I need y'all to watch it too. It's on Netflix. Leave the world behind. Um, and for those of you who have already watched it, don't tell us nothing about it. Don't tell us. Because I'm going to watch it tonight and I'm going to come back tomorrow and we're going to talk about it. Hmm. Well, I'm going to talk about it. And then that next day... I'm going to read y'all comments. And we're going to talk about it. Mmm. We won't be able to talk about it until when? Mmm. Tuesday? Because we won't be able to talk about it tomorrow because the kids are coming over tomorrow and we're doing a video. Um. I'm not sure what I'm going to cook. I don't even know, y'all. They are so picky, Lord. With food? I mean, picky. Mmm. Y'all, Christmas is coming. Oh, let me tell y'all. Something I found out. Um, what was this, last night? Or was this today? Anyway. James Avery. You know these vintage rings that I wear, the dangle rings? They done came back out. Y'all. I was literally asking them, like, when are y'all going to come back out with these, um... Rings, like, why don't y'all have them? Why did they ever even get rid of them? I don't understand it. It was, like, one of the most popular things that they had back in the 80s. And, I mean, I still don't know why they got rid of them, but they are back now, y'all. And and let me tell you something. Like, I'm so excited. Like, I can hardly contain myself. 
you can buy just like one of these rings and you can put any charm that you want on it. Yo, oh my God. I know some of y'all are probably not into these, but these are just like nostalgia for me. Y'all just don't know how bad I wanted a James Avery ring in the seventh grade. <laughs> Like, I wanted so bad that when I was grown and, and you know, able to get one, because I remember back then they cost $50, and $50 for a ring in middle school was a lot of money, okay? Like, I, it was just a no-no. I couldn't have it at all. <laughs> like, you know, um, I remember, like, because I was on a basketball team in seventh grade, and a lot of... I'm just gonna go ahead and say it was a lot of the, the white girls who had it. None of the black girls had it because we just couldn't afford it. All the white girls had all the rings. They had a ring on every finger. And y'all, we was just so jealous. Like, oh my God. We just wanted it so bad. We wanted that. We wanted some kids. Y'all remember kids? <laughs> Do y'all remember kids? They came in all different colors. Couldn't get none of them either. They came out with like some knockoff ones. I think, what was it, Walmart? Um... Was Walmart even open in um in the 80s? I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, I say all that to say they had their back, okay? And this like ladybug one that I have, they have these, like this exact ring, they have this one. And this teddy bear one that I have on this hand, they have one, but it's a different type of teddy bear. This teddy bear is cuter than the one that they have. Theirs is like they call it a stuffed teddy bear, but this one, this one's cuter, y'all. Like, I'm so happy I got the vintage ones, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty sure a lot of people wanted the um, rings back, and that's probably why they brought them back. But yeah, girl, and then they're not even expensive. Well, to me, I don't feel like they're expensive at all. Like, I, I was thinking they were going to be like... You know, a hundred and fifty dollars and stuff. They're only seventy nine. No, what was it? Seventy six. Seventy six dollars for that's that's good for James Avery. Okay, because they have um like some diamond pieces in there. I didn't even know they sold diamonds. Um, and I think it's a, like a gold ring with diamonds. It was like nine hundred and ninety dollars. I was like, what? Like, I ain't no freaking way. Um. But girl, I was so happy. I'm going to have me one for every one of these that going to be famous. <laughs> I surely am, honey. All I need is one, two, three, four. That's all I need. Mmm. I tell you, I just could not believe it. I couldn't believe it. Like, I like anything from, like, way back then. Y'all remember Liz Claiborne and how popular Liz Claiborne was in middle school? Y'all, I remember I used to get bullied because I didn't have a Liz Claiborne purse, girl. Like, can you believe that? I got bullied because I didn't have one. Then, some of y'all done already heard this story. That's why I be saying, you know, I've told my stories like a million times. Um, so one, I believe it was Christmas. Cause it couldn't have been a birthday. One Christmas, my mama got me a Liz Claiborne, y'all. That daggone Liz Claiborne. It was the moon-shaped ones. It was brown. Y'all, I can see it right now. It was moon-shaped. It was about this big. It was so small. <laughs> It was so small, y'all. I can't remember how much it was, but it was at Palais Royal. Do y'all remember Palais Royal? Oh, my God. Where we lived, Palais Royal was in walking distance. Like, you could walk to Palais Royal, right? And back then, Palais Royal was expensive. Like, that was, you know, kind of a, a high-end store to shop at. Well, it was for us, okay? Um, And...
I had told her the one I wanted. I didn't I think I was going to get it. I just told her one time that we was in there. Baby, I got that purse for Christmas. I was so happy. Y'all, I hadn't had that purse for... <laughs> I honestly can't remember how long it was, but it was not long at all that I had that purse before. Um, I think I had detention. <laughs> I had detention, y'all. And I had no way home. There was nobody to freaking take me home. So I had to walk because my parents were at work. You know, back when parents had to work and kids had to fend for themselves sometimes, you know? So, after detention, I had to walk home. And um, everybody, you know, they had to walk home. They would walk, um, like, the shortcut way through the field, right? And you would always hear dogs barking and stuff when you walk through the field. But, you know, no dogs would do anything to you because they was in a fence, right? Y'all, why did this dog, I believe, he had to jump the fence, y'all. And... I had my purse in my hand. I don't know why I didn't have it like across, like a cross body because that's the type of purse it was. And y'all, I saw that dog running after me. Y'all, I booked it. I mean, I was gone. I dropped everything. <laughs> y'all, I dropped my mother flipping Liz Claiborne on the ground in that field, y'all. And then the wild thing about it is, um, who went back to look for it? Because I know I didn't because I was traumatized, baby. I wasn't going in that field ever again. Did somebody go and look for it? I believe somebody did, but they couldn't find it, okay? I was hurt, and that was it. <laughs> you wouldn't get no more little square barn, baby. That was a once in a lifetime thing. But I was wondering if like Liz Claiborne was gonna come back out. Like, is she still selling purses? Like, I don't know. I haven't seen them. I know Dooney and Burke. Um, they started to you know get a little bit of buzz on TikTok. They was putting out commercials, but I don't see those commercials anymore. And I don't see nobody with a Dooney and Burke. Who's still carrying a Dooney and Burke? I remember Dooney and Burke. Dooney and Burke and Coach. They had the best leather purses. Do y'all remember that? Like, I didn't ever have none, but <laughs> I didn't get a coach until um, I moved out the house. I was working, and I got a little square brown uh, coach purse with the C's all over it, and um, I wanted to top it off with a keychain, so I got a, um, a red heart coach cheek keychain. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? I kept it for years, y'all. Years, I, I honestly can't remember what happened to it. I know I still had that coach purse when I met Murder Show. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. But that was a vintage freaking purse. Oh, my God. I should have freaking kept Well, I think it just got lost, like, in between moving and stuff. I think that's probably what happened. But, um... I still have some vintage uh, Gucci heels. Some of y'all done probably already seen them because I showed them. Um, I got some vintage Gucci heels. I have some uh, vintage Coach um, heels too. They went with that daggone purse. Um, and uh, it's another pair of shoes. I cannot remember the name of that um, designer. But I remember everybody was getting these shoes, y'all, in this... Uh, in this pattern, um, I wish I could remember the name, but I can't right now. But y'all keep your stuff because it always comes back in style, like always. Always. If Liz Claiborne came back in style, I don't think I would get a Liz Claiborne. I'm just not interested in looks like one. Like, I like those really nice, like, um, leather purses. Like, Coach, I love everything about Coach, y'all. Everything. Um. But 
the leather on their purses is just amazing. Even from DH Gate, baby. That's where my coach is uh, from. My latest one. Real leather, too. Nice. They did a good job. <laughs> and they be duping the ones that are like that are like new now that coach is coming out with. And I'm here for it. Okay. Mmm. I actually have some sellers sending me some more stuff. It just ain't got here yet. That's the only like downside of ordering from DH Gate is Sometimes it takes a while. Um, but you could always pick, um, you know, a seller that would, like, uh, get it to you in a hurry. Like, maybe, like, three days or something like that. Fast shipping. Um, but, yeah. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, I want to start planning that um daggone cruise. Because I'm going on a cruise. Speaking of cruise, have y'all heard about people who go on cruises for like nine months? There's this cruise. I think it's Royal Caribbean. They um left out of Miami, I do believe. Anyway, a few people are on TikTok and they're... Um, filming, you know, their time there, um, on this boat for nine months. They're going around the world, y'all. I'm like, dang. Um, and everybody wants to know, you know, how they were able to spend all that money, you know, for this trip. Some people are doing it, um, for like three months. Like, it's like different, um, what do you call it? It's like... Uh, like different times. Uh, like you, you could, I think the least time that you could be on there is three months. I don't know y'all, but the longest is the nine months. And it's so exciting to watch y'all. They get free food and beverages for the entire time that they're there. Can you imagine? And there's only 700 people on the, um, on the boat. Like, that's like a, a community, you know? You're not going to be able to stay to yourself the entire time. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully people get along and, you know, nothing bad happens. But would y'all do that? Would y'all take literally a vacation? But you know what? A lot of people that are doing it, they're working from, like, remotely. They're working on the boat. Um, like, you know, doing, like, internet type of stuff. Um, like, influencing and what else. Some people are actually working on the boat, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, didn't even know that you could do that. But, uh, yeah, it's, what did they say? The people who looked it up said it's about $60,000 for the nine-month um, trip. $60,000, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be on a boat for nine months. But they do stop in different places. Um, they get off the boat. Um, they stay at hotels and stuff. Which is covered. All of it's covered, y'all. Like, what? Yeah, it's definitely exciting to watch, though. Definitely. So, if y'all want to see that, go on TikTok. World Caribbean. Mm. And follow them. I'm following everybody that I've found that um, is is doing the nine month trip. I'm I'm following them. This is one couple. You can tell they got buku money. Like you can just tell. 
they literally have a penthouse on the boat that have stairs. Like it's a two story freaking penthouse on the boat, y'all. It literally looks like something that's in New York. It's so nice. And then the bed, like you go upstairs and there's this huge bed. It looks like it's like a California size bed. It's round, y'all. It's like so luxurious. Like I was like, dang, you know, must be nice to be able to afford something like that, honey. <laughs> mm. Must be nice. I know, next time I go on the cruise, I'm definitely getting um the patio like I had last time. But I want the, you know, I want a better one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me, Lord have mercy. I want... Like that wraparound patio. That's what I want. <clears throat> Has anybody ever had that when they went on a cruise? Let me know in the comments. Mm. Mm. Oh, can you imagine? Oh my God. Free food and drinks, they gonna be drunk all the time. I mean all the time. Jeez Louise. Mm mm mm. Like they going to um what they say, seven continents. Um and it's one, is it Alaska? Not Alaska. It's some somewhere where they can't stop there. They can just, you know, gaze and, and watch. I do believe that's what it was. Um, I'm not sure. Is it Alaska? Where they be going to do like that science and stuff? It's, that's not Alaska, is it? Where is that? It's really, really cold. Um... <laughs> For some reason, I can't remember right now. But, how freaking exciting. And I believe they get to get off the boat, check in the hotels and stuff at each one of these places that they're stopping at. Like, what a freaking vacation. Can y'all imagine? What a vacation. Mm. These are bomb. It's my last one, though. Because I'm full. Full hell! Oh my God. Y'all seen Keith Lee on The Breakfast Club. <laughs> I didn't watch the whole interview. I don't know. It was kind of boring to me. I ain't even gonna lie. It was kind of boring. Um, but congratulations to him. Because he's making his rounds, honey. Like, what? He has a good manager. Okay? Because... They're not doing all that themselves. He has a good freaking manager. And he told everybody how um, the lady who's his manager, how she became his manager. She literally um, contacted him and gave him some advice on something that he needed to do. And he told her that she was hired. I was like, dang. I guess she might have, you know, pitched herself and probably said, you know, well, I'm a social media manager and I think that you should do this, that, and this. And he was like, you're hired, you know. But how amazing is that? Because he actually needed um, a manager because he was going really, really fast. And, like, he got a good one, honey. 
He got a good one. Um, the weather in Florida. What is going on, y'all? Where are my Florida people? What is going on out there? Like they said, a big storm is supposed to come. And then they said that they're supposed to be flooding. Like it's already coming because people have been talking about how dark it's been. The wind's been blowing. And um, just it's been dark like the past couple of days or something. Um, people were saying. Um, where is that? Where is the news? Oh, excuse me. Because I saved it. Y'all know I saved it. Oh, Lord have mercy. Here, rare storm coming. It's rare. That's coming to Florida. It's going to cover the whole state of Florida, y'all. They don't know where this is coming that? from. The weird thing that they're confused about it's is going to cover up hurricanes. the whole Florida. What? And they don't know where it's coming from, allegedly. What? Let me see what these people in these comments say. All jokes aside, has anyone been feeling extra tired over the last few days? Me. Have y'all? Let me know in the comments. Um. Somebody says, I'm in West Palm Beach. It's been dark for days and the winds have been so strong. It's so unusual for South Florida. Because they're saying, like, this doesn't happen... Uh, like during December, like they're not supposed to have any type of storms in December. Y'all. And then somebody else says, been in Florida my whole life. Rain is not um, unusual for December. Oh, it's not unusual, but huge storms are definitely abnormal. The skies have looked very eerie lately. Oh my God. Well, I hope y'all, are y'all preparing the people that are um, in Florida? Y'all, I would be out of there. For real. i come to Houston or something. Or what's the, like, closest place where it's not going to be freaking stormy? Where you, like, you know what I'm saying? Where you won't even feel it. That is scary. And honestly, I mean, no shade to nobody who live in Florida. I just don't understand. People who want to be wanting to like move to Florida, like, and get a beach house, like, girl, it ain't no way. Like, it, it could get destroyed at any. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just like, Florida is known for hurricanes and stuff like that. Like, it just ain't no way I would ever invest in any type of property in Florida. I heard that it was a very beautiful out there. It's a lot of rich people stay out there, but. That would probably just be a vacation spot for me. But, you know, freaking buying a house? Hell no. It ain't no way. I heard that, um, it's certain parts of Florida, though, that don't get touched. I'm like, what? How is that even possible? But I guess. But, um. Yeah, so I hope everybody in Florida stays safe. Y'all prepare now. Because obviously, it's a coming. Oh, you know what? Another thing I want to talk to y'all about. Okay, remember... Hold up. Remember the Titanic? Y'all, I swear to God, I just found this out today. Or was it yesterday? No, it was today. Y'all know every time that they would tell any type of stories about the Titanic, you would never see any black people. You would never hear of any black people being on that ship. Do y'all know if there was black people on that ship? There were black people on that ship that worked on that ship. And um, they say Titanic victim Melinda Borden was drowned at sea. This is her. That's her, y'all. Okay? Um, She was drowned at sea as she was working aboard the Titanic. 
Lifeboats were made available to white women and white children only. The black workers were not listed among the passengers or the victims. They weren't even listed, y'all. Like, that just, oh my God. They were only listed among the property that was lost. Can y'all believe that? Had y'all ever heard of that? I don't know why I never thought. I wonder if there was black people on the Titanic. I just never even thought of it. You know? um, I just, oh, y'all. That just really makes me upset, for real. Y'all let me know in the comments, did y'all know anything about that? They were listed as property, y'all. Property. Like somebody's suitcase. Like somebody's shoes, you know, um, <sighs> horrible. They couldn't even get on the daggone me boats, y'all. So they couldn't be saved. They had to accept their fate because they weren't allowed on the safety and rescue boats. I swear, somebody's going to have to pay for all of these horrible things that they have done to black people. For real. But, like, we have been done the worst. It's so horrible. Just to even think about y'all, like. We've been done so freaking bad, like. And we still persevere. We still move on with our lives. We still live. We, You know what I'm saying? We are so strong. We are a really strong group of people. For real. Um, but yeah, I wanted y'all to know that. Because I know a lot of people did not know this. You see the people in the comments. Right? Actually, no. It's no... Uh, they turned them off. Mm. Um, yeah, and um, also... Um, oh... Florida, again, they're talking about the gun laws in Florida. Um, They have a new gun law now for y'all. Y'all don't have to um, have a license. The Wait, gun law see. in Florida is that you don't have to have a concealed weapons permit to carry a firearm. You never had to have one when you were carrying it in your car, as long as it was securely encased. Yeah. Now, this is important, y'all. On the floor... It's illegal. That's open carry. You can't it's have it on the floor. It's not securely encased. The door pocket is open carry. It's not securely encased. And it's against the On the, the side law. of the door, between you can't. Between the seats. Between the seats. It's open carry. And it's against the law. Even if you have a concealed weapons permit in your glove box, it's legal as long as it's closed in the glove box. And he says, if you get stopped and you have your gun in your uh, glove box, He's saying don't keep it in the glove box. You can put it there, but you when you go for your uh, registration, he says do not have your registration, like the stuff that you would need to give to the police, do not have that nowhere near a gun, okay? You keep it separate. He's, it, like, he's a lawyer. He's a defense lawyer. He says to keep it separate. So, you know, put it somewhere else. Put it like, I guess you can you put it in the glove compartment? I want to let me see. If it's in your yeah. center console, yeah, you can. it's legal. Okay. If you're riding through your war zone and you have to have access to your gun, keep it in your center console. The police don't sneak up behind you and see it. They turn on all of those lights and sirens so you know they're coming. Right. And when you hear that, it's closed. It's now legal. The law does not require you to inform law enforcement that you have a gun in your car. My suggestion... Do not keep your gun in the same place that you keep your registration and insurance. Because when you reach to get your registration mm -hmm. and insurance and they see that gun, the next thing you yeah, already know, gun! somebody's going to get hurt. Mm -hmm. The new law in Florida. That's exactly what's going to happen. So everybody stay safe and keep your pieces where they need, where they're supposed to be concealed. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, we didn't see too many freaking um accidents and just not even accidents, but anyway, um, one more thing, y'all. Have y'all heard of Manny Ellis? The Manny Ellis trial that is supposed to be going on right now. Um, they said Manny Ellis was um he was unalive in Tacoma, Washington, three months before George Floyd. Okay, and um, he was uh y'all y'all would never believe what he was doing. He was literally walking down the sidewalk. This is from what I heard, y'all allegedly walking down the sidewalk. Um, and a police officer opened up his car door and hit him, knocked him down. And for some apparent reason, they, uh, uh, him and a couple other, it was three of them, got out of the car and just started um, assaulting him. Started assaulting him. Um, initially, they lied and said that, um, you know, he did something. What did they say he did? Y'all listen, look, hold on, because I think there's music. Hold on. Important trial going on right now that's not being covered very much by the media, so I'm going to fill you in on what's going on. Because I ain't heard nothing about so, it. So, the men above me, Matthew Collins, Christopher Burbank, Timothy Ranking, are all Tacoma police officers who are being tried for the death of Manny Ellis. Manny Ellis is a 33-year-old black man who was killed in Tacoma, Washington in March of 2020. Manny died three months before George Floyd, and the situations are very this similar. Him. What we know right now is that police have lied time and time again, and it's taken a huge effort by Manny Ellis's family mm -hmm. to actually get the truth about what happened at night. And thanks to his sister in particular, who was Sometimes able you to do find video footage and eyewitnesses, we yeah. now have a better idea of what happened. Officers initially claimed that Ellis walked past their patrol car, began beating on it, and then attacked them. What we began that he walked past their patrol car <laughs> and began beating on the car and then beating on them. What Does that sound right? That don't even sound right. Come on. <sighs> now know to be true is that Minnie Ellis was walking home from a convenience store. He walked past the patrol car and Officer Burbank opened his door, hitting Manny, knocking him down. Police officers then attacked Manny, beating him, tasing him, also putting him into a chokehold for a very long time, and then eventually hog tying him, including putting a spit mask over his face while hogtied with Officer Ranking's full weight on his back. Uh, Ellis has was heard multiple times saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Officers not only told him to shut the F up, but they also went as far as to say, if you're talking to me, then you can breathe just fine. They love to say that. If you're talking to me, well, then you can breathe. They love to say that, y'all. But anyway, he ended up passing away, okay? And they are on the trial. They, they are on the trial. They are on trial for his um, unaliving. And they said this is the first time that they have, um, like, some police officers that went on trial for something like this since, like, 1930s or something like that, they said. But, yeah, so, <clears throat> you know, y'all support this also, um, along with everything else that's going on. But, anyway, um, yeah, I gotta go. It is getting freaking late. <sighs> Y'all, I swear I've been all over the place today. All over the place. I'm just going to relax, relate, and release and just start fresh tomorrow. I'm going to start earlier than I started today, tomorrow. And, uh, y'all, anyway. <laughs> um, is there anything else I need to say? Oh, y'all, so I'm, I can't check the comments today. I will check the comments tomorrow. Um, and yeah, y'all. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I sure did. It was absolutely delicious. Y'all already know I recorded it. So if y'all want to know how to make it, make sure y'all are following me on my family blog channel. Um, make sure y'all hit the notification bell so y'all can get my videos when they come out. 
um, on this channel and on the family blog channel. Um, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Okay. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 uh. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, uh. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. Yeah. Bye, y'all.